Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a few tips on how to downsize and declutter your closet. This is a task that is so tedious and pretty much everyone hates to do it, including me, okay? And I tell my clients all the time, even though I know it's not the most fun thing to do, it is so necessary to be able to add new things to your wardrobe and just to kind of keep your style updated. So let's jump right into it. The first tip to decluttering and downsizing your wardrobe would be to clearly define your style. What is it that you want your style to look like? I like to use vision boards for this. I do this using the Pinterest app or sometimes I look through the fashion magazines like Vogue or Glamour and even sometimes I find a celebrity style icon or it can be a fashion blogger. There's like tens of thousands of bloggers to choose from. Just kind of pick one who dresses more geared towards what you like. Create some type of vision board so that you can clearly see what type of colors and what type of items it is that you want to incorporate into your new style and wardrobe. Personally, for me, I tend to lean more towards earth tones and neutral colors in my wardrobe. My celebrity style icon is Kim Kardashian because I like the way that her style has evolved. I love the way that she likes to wear um, the neutrals and the earth tones, fitted bottoms and loose tops, a lot of vests and outerwear, and I really do like that because I feel like for my body type, it definitely does um, complement my curves. Maybe you are someone who um, might be into the boho chic look. You might even have been a tomboy in the past or you know had like a tomboy type of wardrobe thing going on and now you wanna update it to a more sophisticated look. It really is just about the person. You want your style to reflect who you are and it's about personal style. There's no wrong way to do it. You don't have to look at the runways. You don't have to keep up with the fashion trends. It's really not about that. It's about what makes you feel confident, what makes you feel comfortable, and what you like to see yourself in. The second piece of advice that I would give you is to organize your wardrobe. Now, I will have a video up very soon on organizing your wardrobe and just the kind of the tips that I use to keep my wardrobe organized and everything very accessible. If you're watching this video before that organization video goes up, please subscribe so that way you won't miss the next video. And if you're watching it after the video goes up, I will leave a link in the description box. That way you can check it out and learn how to organize your wardrobe. But for right now, we're just going to kind of stick to the basics. I like to divide my wardrobe based on season. Winter and fall pretty much go together, as well as spring and summer. I really don't like to commingle those seasons together in my closet. I don't think that there should ever be a reason why you, are, you have a chunky sweater and turtlenecks in a closet with booty shorts and mini skirts. I mean, unless that's your style to wear those maybe with stockings, but that's a whole entire other video. So you want to divide things based on season, and once you get, well right now, since we're in spring, that means you want to take out your winter clothes. And once you get those winter clothes out, then you will get down to the nitty gritty, and you will take everything out of your closet and everything out of your drawers. After that, you need to separate them into piles on your bed or on your floor, based on what type of item they are. So maybe you want to put all the skirts together, the dresses together, blouses, jeans, I mean literally everything because the whole purpose of this project is to purge your closet to see what you do have, to see what you don't have, to see what you need, and to just kind of make some space and get rid of some things. The next step in decluttering your wardrobe will be to take out your staples. You want to go through each pile literally one at a time and take your time. Pull out your staples and these can definitely be things that anyone can have in their wardrobe such as a blazer or a little black dress or some black slacks for maybe work 
or anything that just fits anyone's wardrobe no matter what your style is. Also, some staples will include things that you normally wear very often. It can be a pair of jeans that you wear maybe once a week or a t-shirt that you totally cannot live without. Um, anything that you find yourself reaching for often, you definitely want to keep in your closet. Those can stay and they can live happily ever after back where they belong in your closet or in your drawers. Now here is the tough part and the tedious part. It is time for negotiations. Everything else that you have left on your floor is negotiable, okay? That means you're going to go through each pile one by one and you're going to ask yourself a few questions about each garment to figure out whether it deserves a place in your closet or not. Before you even touch a garment, I need you to designate two spaces on your floor. One will be a pile to give and one will be a pile to throw away. And we'll go a little bit further into these piles a little bit later on. But for right now, I want you to focus on going through each pile and asking yourself these questions. The first question I want you to ask yourself is, does this garment fit? Does it flatter my shape? Does it make me feel good about myself? Is it too small? Is it too big? If the garment does not fit properly, then you need to choose a pile. Don't convince yourself that you're going to wear this garment three months from now when you lose the extra 10 pounds or when you gain a little bit more weight. No, that's how you get stuck with things in your closet that just are never going to go anywhere. Because if you were going to do it, chances are you would have done it by now. And six months from now, you're still going to have that garment in your closet and you're still not going to be able to fit it. The garment does not fit properly or if it doesn't make you feel good when you put it on. Pick a pile. The second question that you want to ask yourself is, is it damaged? Do you find yourself reaching for this item often in your closet? And if not, is the reason why? Maybe because it has a hole in it or a button is missing? If yes, then can it be repaired? Is it something that can easily be sewn up? Or is it something that is like totally beyond repair and it cannot be fixed? A tiny tear under an armpit can be stitched up easily with some needle and thread by even the most amateur, you know, sewing person. <laughs> but if your collar has holes in it and the back is like ripped up from your cat, like seriously, put it in a pile, preferably the throwaway pile because that just does not need to stay in your wardrobe. If you have black t-shirts that were once black and now they're gray and just dusty and ashy, throw them out. If you have white t-shirts that maybe have armpit stains or just any type of yellow stain on it, throw it out. You don't need them. Basic t-shirts are so easy to come by. You really like don't need those items. So just kind of like throw them out. The next thing you want to ask yourself is, does it go with your color scheme? And is it a part of your new style? Now, for example, I have, not that I'm proud of this, but I have a lot of things in my closet from middle school and high school and even early college. And not that I am proud to announce this to the world, but I mean, it happens. The way that my relationship with my clothing is set up, I don't like to give things away. I don't like to throw things away. I don't like to part with my wardrobe because I feel like I spent my heart on money on it. And every piece of clothing is my baby and I just cannot get rid of it. But I know in order for me to get new clothing, I have to make room. So items like this, again, like I said before, my style totally pretty much almost consists of black, white, neutrals, earth tones. And this is neither. This is a hot pink wedge, and honestly, I'm not even really that much into wedges. I kind of like making them separate. So, although I have barely worn these, I bought them maybe a, like four years ago, five years ago, and they just kind of been sitting in my closet. So, although they're really nice shoes, and I'm pretty sure that someone will love them, not me, clearly. So, they need to leave my closet, and I need to be done with those. The last thing you want to ask yourself is, would I ever pick this item up again if I were to see it in a store today? Again, like I said, I have a lot of things from a long time ago. Um, and I mean, some of the shirts that I have are like poofy at the shoulders. I have like literally like shoulder pads or like fringes hanging from the collar. Just like really shirts that I probably would have never picked up if I saw in the store today. Like seriously, I have some ugly things and I'm like, who put this in my closet? But 
I mean, hey, we, we all have those things that we probably would never pick up, but we just can't get rid of because we felt we feel like, you know, I spent my money on this and I don't want to throw it away. I don't really want to give it away. Um, but reality is that if you're really not going to wear it, it's no point in it being in your closet. And last but not least, if you do have some things left over in your pile that pass the test, all of the tests that we just ran on each article of clothing, if there are things that are left in your pile that do fit your color scheme, that are reflective of your style, and maybe you just have not worn them yet or haven't worn them in a while, challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to make at least three outfits out of that article of clothing and to put those outfits together, well, at least one of them, within the next three to six months. Lay the piece of clothing on the bed, turn it backwards in your closet, hang it on the back of the door. Do whatever it is that you have to do to remind yourself that you need to wear this garment because if you don't wear it within the next six months, that means you need to toss it. That means you're never gonna wear it and you need to pick a pile. The last piece of advice that I would give you is to be consistent and do this seasonally. I do this as soon as the season changes. So I just went through my closet and purged a whole lot of clothing. So I probably won't do that again until late uh, September, maybe early October, once the weather starts getting a little bit cold. I'll pull my winter wardrobe out of the attic and I will purge yet again so that way I can add new beautiful things to my wardrobe. Now back to those two piles that you created. One was the giveaway pile and the other was the throwaway pile. The throwaway pile should definitely consist of everything that cannot be salvaged at all. Go ahead and take that down to your garbage can and just kindly place it in there and leave it alone. And the second pile, which was the giveaway pile, you have younger sisters or maybe cousins or even friends that would be interested and you just kind of want to give them away to them, that is a good idea. Also, you can try to sell your things maybe on eBay. Those are also wonderful ideas. There is always some type of organization, shelter, or nonprofit that will definitely accept new gently used items. You can definitely do some good in the world by giving those items to someone who really is in need. I hope this video was really helpful for you guys. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this, please comment below and let me know what else it is that you would like to see me do a video on. As always, thank you so much for watching and until my next video, bye.